What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news from yesterday and a little bit more. But it's been a minute since I put out a news video. I do apologize for that and that's just because I need to catch up on the reviews. I know a lot of people look to this channel for the reviews so I wanted to make sure those were out in a timely fashion. But like always, if you do like this video, I would appreciate if you took a second and gave it a thumbs up. That goes a long way for helping build this channel. Now moving forward, the highlights. We have a little bit of Adidas. Kind of a lot of Nike, kind of a lot of Jordan brand. From Jordan brand, we have another look at the Air Jordan 11 Midnight Navy. We have some Air Jordan 1 low releases, as well as the Air Jordan Defining Moments pack. From Nike, the highlight probably would be the Vlone Nike Air Force 1 High, potentially releasing during fall or winter 2017. And from Adidas, it would be a handful of NMD releases and an Aniki Runner Boost. But without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Pata is collaborating once again with ASICS and this time they're bringing out the ASICS Gel Light 3 Pata exclusive. So the pair combines birch as well as burgundy across the uppers while constructed with new buck and suede. They also feature 3M reflective material on the logo that's placed on the hill as well as the underlay beneath the ASICS striping. Each pair comes with a Pata exclusive keychain hang tag. So if you're interested in copying, they do drop on June 9th. I don't have a retail price, but like the nickname suggests, this is a PADA exclusive. They will be available at their Amsterdam and London locations, as well as online at PADA.nl. We have a handful of Adidas news for you today, and none of the information supplied has a specific release date, so keep that in mind going forward. Now first up we have the Adidas and Nike Runner Boost known as Pink Gum aka Bubble Gum. As you can see the uppers feature pink and that is constructed with nylon as well as suede. In addition, white hits the back hill, three stripes branding as well as the boost midsole. Completing the look is a gum outsole. No set release date at this time, but they are expected to drop during June. Retail price will be $120. On a side note, this is a women's exclusive release. Everything from here on out from Adidas will be the NMD. And next we have the R1 Prime Knit and no nickname for them, but as you can see, they feature white across the base and they use glitch camo as well as shades of gray on the three stripes branding, back heel, and the pod overlays. Now there is some text on one of the stripes that forms the three stripes branding. I can't really make out what it is. I thought maybe at first it was Japanese writing, but I'm not too sure, so if you know, leave a comment below. Again, no set release date, just expect it to drop sometime later this year. If I had to guess, it'd probably be summer. Retail price will be $170. Next up is the Adidas NMDR1 Lesion Ink. Now, they feature shades of blue across the uppers, which hits the three stripes branding, one of the EVA pod overlays, back heel, tongue, laces, and you pretty much see what's going on here. However, they do feature some gum, and that hits the other EVA pod overlay, as well as the outsole. Last touch is a white boost midsole. Again, no release date, sometime during summer 2017. Retail price will be 130 Last up from Adidas is the NMD R1 Prime Knit being called Utility Gray, and that's because it features a predominant utility gray takeover. In addition, we have the glitch camouflage across the base, and honestly, this doesn't really look like gray to me. It looks more like a, a off, like a green or a or a brown shade, almost military inspired. But setting the look apart is pink, which lands on one of the EVA pod overlays, and then we have white on the boost midsole and black on the outsole. Dropping sometime this summer, retail will be $170. On to Nike, and we have a detailed look at the Nike Air Max Flare University Gold. So we previewed the shoe in the past, basically we thought it was yellow, and honestly it still looks yellow. But University Gold covers the uppers with textile mesh, then we have black which outlines the air, as well as other accents like landing on the Nike branding on the heel the eyelids, and around the collar. Now here's the details for the release. They dropped June 10th and that's confirmed as an overseas launch. We don't know when or if they will drop in the states, however I do believe that will happen possibly the same day, if not shortly thereafter. Retail price is 120 Now there are sizes available on eBay and I'm gonna have a link in the description below. However, when I looked, this dude wanted like $180 for this and this is $120 shoe, so no for me. But if you're interested, it'll be in the description. We finally have a release date for the Nike PG-1 Elements. I still don't know how the nickname ties into this, but they were also being called Undefeated because it resembled that of the Air Jordan 4 collaboration with Undefeated. And I just want to make note, there is no ties between the two. Now, if you're interested in picking them up, June 16th is the date and retail price will be 110 On the surface, this pair looks actually really dope. But what I'm hearing, and of course, was from other reviews, is that the panels 
which features a long hair suede, is actually really, really long, almost like grass. For the most part, the Nike Air more uptempo has yet to disappoint me until now. Here is what's being called tricolor, and this almost seems unreal to me, and I'll explain it, but it features white around the toe, gray on the panels, and black around the heel. So it's almost like the triple white and the OG pair matched up. I'm not sure what the gray would resemble. I don't get what they're doing here. I honestly don't know. Also, it looks like the A in Air uses Nubuck and then the I in R uses leather. So I don't know. It seems like just a, a mashup of three different shoes. Currently, there isn't a release date. However, the rumor is they're dropping overseas right now. I don't know where, but the image is shown is a grade school and we don't know if this is gonna release in adult sizes. Now, if you're interested, I do apologize. I'm just not a fan of the shoe, but once there is additional information, I'll make sure to update it in the next news video. Now we know there's at least three Kyrie 3s dropping this month, and next up, this pair is being called Black Ice. Now, I do think these will have some sort of nickname to them because they feature a unique theme. Black runs across the uppers, but on the side panel, almost looks like there's a zigzag pattern, but I'm sure we'll know more soon. And they feature white on the midsole, a translucent outsole, and then there's multicolor used on the pods. June 15th is the release date and retail price is 120. Before everyone runs off and says this is factual, at the time of shooting this, this is a rumor. Valone and Nike will release the Air Force One High. It first showed up during New York Fashion Week back in February, and now this information is becoming available that a release possibly could happen during fall or winter 2017. Dressed just like the low top, they feature black and orange, and around the ankle strap it reads, every living creative dies alone. The highs aren't bad, I think they do look dope, I just more of a fan of the lows. Once more information becomes available, I'll make sure to update you. I know that there's a lot of women that are into foam posits and they complain about the shape and the build and it's not like the adults. That will change come holiday 2017. Here's an exclusive look at the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Dark Stucco, which is the first women's exclusive release. This pair is going to be a part of the Shine Pack, and that pack's going to feature the Foam Posit 1, the Air More Up Tempo, and the Air Force 1 Upstep Premium LX. Of course, you don't have to buy them all. You can buy them each separately. Just want to make note. But they feature a dark stucco and black colorway, and across the foam posit shell will feature an iridescent finish. We also have a translucent outsole. Now, I'll be honest, the image isn't that great, and I do apologize for that. That's all I could obtain for now. But holiday 2017 is when they're expected to release, and retail price will be 230 Jordan Brand's bringing back the Air Jordan 1 low, no swoosh, and up first is the off-white Python edition. So it features a python snakeskin texture across the uppers, which is done in off-white, and we have wax laces, gold on the lace tips, and white on the midsole and outsole. We don't have a release date, however sizes have shown up on eBay in grade school sizing. Now we don't know if this is a grade school exclusive as of now, but more details on the way. The second no swoosh Air Jordan 1 low to showcase is being called Ice Blue, and like the name suggests, Ice Blue covers the uppers as well as the tongue and wax laces. Gold on the lace tips, we have a python snakeskin like texture across the uppers as well, and white on the midsole and outsole. So these are some on feet images, I'm not sure if I shared this information yet, but they're going to drop on June 7th, retail price will be 150 Again, this is looking like a grade school exclusive. During summer, Jordan Brand is going to release a ton of Air Jordan 1s, or so it appears that way. Next up, we have two Air Jordan 1 Low OG Premium releases, one dressed in light or wood brown, the other in triple black. Now this pack does remind me a lot of the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OGs that are dropping this month, one in triple black, but they both have a little bit of red, and the other one is dressed in cell. Obviously the light or wood brown is a little bit different than cell, but no release date, just summer 2017 and retail price will be 130. The Air Jordan 13, 14 DMP pack is going to release next week and we have official images, which gives us a better look. Prior to this, we did have official images, but it was the grade school release. So we all know the history, we know the details and they're dropping June 14th. And I just wanna confirm that is the date when Michael Jordan hit the last shot back in 1998. So they're celebrating in true form by dropping them 19 years later. Retail price is 500 and yes, they are dropping in kid sizes GS and retail will be 350. I'm not sure if the GS will launch in the special packaging, but I do feel at $350 it should. 
Last but not least, we have a closer look at the Air Jordan 11 Midnight Navy, which is dropping on Black Friday. And man, I'm in love with these. I don't understand why anybody hates them. And apparently, there is quite a few people that do. They feature mesh on the uppers, leather around the heel, and we have your patent leather, which is higher cut, and it has peaks. White Midnight Navy, as well as University Blue, covers this shoe, as well as a translucent outsole, and that completes the look. So like I mentioned, Black Friday, which is November 24th, retail price is 220 And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com, and then we take it to YouTube. What I'm feeling from this video is the Vlone Nike Air Force One High. I do like the low better, but I don't know, it's something about that color combination that really attracts me to it. Of course, the Air Jordan 11 Midnight Navy, I've said that before. I think there's a good amount of people that do want them, and of course, they're going to sell out. It's an Air Jordan 11. And the Air Jordan DMP pack, that is something... I already owned and I feel weird saying that because I'm not trying to gloat on that at all. That $500 price tag is nothing to gloat about. However, the 14s are dope. And what I can appreciate from this video is the Nike Air Foam Posit 1, the women's exclusive release. I know there's been women asking for an actual foam posit that looks like a foam posit for a long time and that's going to happen. So I'm happy to see that and I'm happy that Nike has acknowledged it but leave a comment below let me know from this video what you liked what you disliked thanks for watching stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe